Welcome to an interesting stream, right? So you know how like I have Game Pass and I downloaded a bunch of games? Not gonna lie, I don't know why I haven't done this yet, but I'm gonna actually play some of the other downloaded games. I wanna give all the games I downloaded a chance, you know? So right now I'm just loading up, just making sure everything's good. New profile. Oh, I can actually already do things, okay. Where's the switch scene? So this first game we're playing is called Coffee Talk. And that's why we're in the Just Chang category, because, you know, it kind of suits the theme. Uh, you know what, actually? Sherry, because that's the name of the light novel series character that I uh, have written, or I'm writing right now. Okay, hold on, this fucking music is loud. Happens all the time in new games, it's always so loud. But then again, I'd rather be too loud than too quiet. Is Sherry correct? Yes. Welcome, Sherry. Change barista. Oh, yeah, that's just change profiles, I assume. Uh, play endless extras options. Just play, honestly. There's no real holdback. Oh! What, welcome to Coffee Talk. What can get you? An achievement just for opening the game. Seattle 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and a time where anything can happen. Rip by these people, music by those. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. Oh, so I see there's like... Ah, okay. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automa automo automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. When the humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. Bro, is this like the thing you came to play before, the horror one? In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. And that's the name of this shop, obviously. Coffee Talk, because why wouldn't it be? Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Probably in college at that time. Oh, you're the person on the front. Welcome. Oh, it's you. Hey, Sherry. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We got a slight problem though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine uh, you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. Uh, writer's block again. Bruh, is this just the- is this a universe where Sherry is talking to me as the writer of the, like, light novel? <laughs> it's just like, what? You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to- Oh, that's weird. Why do my- that's different, I never had my bar appear like that before. Hold on. What's this? Restart. No, Steam. I do not give you permission to restart. If anything, you shouldn't even be open. There you go. I have no clue what you said, but welcome anyway, secret. <laughs> ah. Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. 
Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Triple shot espresso. Yes, please. The triple shot espresso. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone. Triple shot espresso. Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Triple shot espresso. So, espresso. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Blacker than a moonless night. Hotter than a bitter. Something... Wait. She did say triple... Yeah. The triple shot espresso. Okay, so... Base. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, am I... Yeah, it's coffee, coffee, and coffee. Uh, brew. Crash it, serve it. That's triple shot, isn't it? Does that count, or do I need to do something else? Serve? Is that it? I, I don't think that's it. It smells good. One shot of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Ah, that aroma. Mm, exactly what I need. Anyway, where are we? Where are we? You plan to do something? Yeah, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? A light novel series, perhaps? <laughs> yeah. It sounds so simple when I uh, was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? No, you're right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yeah. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of those big guys in the elevator. So naturally I pitched my book idea. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories, so he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll put some str he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Bro, this is th this is bro. Okay, so if I bump into a big guy in an elevator, I gotta ask like pitch Sherry Albert story to him. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? And that's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Good job, Freya. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh... <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well... It was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. So, zero. Uh, yeah... I really need to finish it in at, at most two weeks. Then I use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You need to be. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be a service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Oh, excuse me. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yeah, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please? 
Uh, okay, let's see, what do we have then? Dark chocolate? I mean, yeah, well, actually, that's the only other thing I can make right now. Just dark chocolate. Green tea, dark chocolate. Yeah, so no coffee. It's just dark chocolate. So just chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Serve. There you go. One cup of chocolatey... Chocolatey... Bro, what's up with my English pronunciation recently? I can't pronounce words anymore. And I was just reading over Sherry Aubrey's story recently, the light novel series that I'm currently working on, Mike. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yeah, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight. It's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, it is good for business having the coffee shop only open at night. <laughs> Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone uh, longing for a warm drink at this hour. And that's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? And that's a secret. Sherry here is damn rich. That's a secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Sherry can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going to go bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. And that's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the uh, stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Oh, the boyfriend, is it? Or someone else? There he is. Damn, look at him. Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Um, surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something better to keep me awake. With milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on top. So, basically, he just wants a latte. So, coffee, milk, milk. Yeah, coffee, milk, milk. Coffee, uh, milk, milk. I don't know if I can do anything about it, but let's go. Let's serve it. Here's your order. No air, huh? Um, that's a bummer. I don't know how to draw it, I'm sorry. It tastes good, though. Anyway, I was distracted by some work, plus there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah? I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. I'm... Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet you both. I'm Sherry. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some character... Character... Caricature, caricature, and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I won't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. 
How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee making skill though. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is I'm, that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at the table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Aw. Already one customer down. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that wouldn't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. <laughs> I lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Sherry here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? Oh, jeez, I just realized the way they're looking at me. Oh yeah, how do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fist to take care of. I do have my own methods, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's a good lesson to learn for today. Oh, phone vibrating. Your parents? Yeah. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at uh, Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still... You don't know what they say about said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures, about our immortality, about how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship? It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We could just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We could just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lil, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to serve... Sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait. <laughs> I'm just there, just like... <laughs> hmm. I don't know if you could hear the whistling. Maybe you heard it better there now. 
I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. And that's alright. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Heh, <laughs> I hope so too. The way he fucking looks at it. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Oh, so we're not making a latte or green tea, we're making... Oh yeah, it's this one, Joe. Dumbass. Uh, green tea, milk, milk. So green tea, milk, milk. There you go. Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. And by the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? Okay. Nobody's marrying Sherry. Get away from her. I'm, I'm her, I'm her th like, theoretical father. No. Get away. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. <laughs> uh, 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 but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can, if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and cha uh, change. More than an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now. And probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while till sunset. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. Oh, she came back. Hi, hold on. What's the phone saying here? Oh, so it's telling me all the people. I haven't seen Georgie, Gala. I've seen Lua. And Bailey's was here as well. Oh, his birthday's the 1st of June, just like mine. That's cool. Votra am a un passage choisi? That's definitely French anyway. So there's social media, I assume. The Evening Whisper, so that's her stuff. Thank you for subscribing to our fiction plan free trial. You will still you'll have active you will have active subscription to our fiction plan and will start receiving your daily short stories tomorrow. What kind of subscription service does that? You subscribe today and they start giving you shit tomorrow. What? <laughs> That's bullshit like. Shuffled. Oh, can I actually Oh, I can Bro, that's fucking smart. I love that attention to detail. You can actually just look at all the songs. That, I love that. That's really cool. Yeah, we're going to change it to Rough Day now. <laughs> Italian Delight. A warm and calming darkness. Caffeine boost donate. Dominated by milk. Blacker than the moonless night. I've already read that. Both sweet and savoury with a hint of bitterness for the heart. Then we got a bunch of different stuff here too. Right. Sorry, Freya. You were listening from the corner? Yeah. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up early than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay. You have a good night then. You too. Oh yeah, that actually does give me the excuse to close up early. Green tea latte. Both sweet and savoury with a hint of bitterness for the heart. I love loading screens like this, by the way. That actually let you, like, read what's on it before you go in. Like, bro. I think we'll play one more night and we'll see where we go from there. And then I'll play another game. It's not too bad, but I'm not raging too much about this right now. 
The evening whispers, free of charge. Oh, really? Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. I <laughs> just... I don't know why, but my first thought was Ouroboros or something, I think it's called, from Resident Evil 5. That's gas, if that's a thing. Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local restaurants. Fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigrants. Right, are we seeing Freya first or someone else? Maybe a fresh face? Nope, Freya again. Good evening. Good gracious. What is wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry, but I'm just so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Are you going to write a novel about like a 16-year-old 16 16-year-old 16 teenage girl that goes to like school normally and has like a normal life, but then there's like heroes and villains like fighting in the background of her very existence? Just like Sherry Arbor Story, the light novel series that I'm currently working on. <laughs> Basically this whole stream is just turning into a show for Sherry Arbor Story. <laughs> is it one of your impulsive, temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me. What are you going to write about? This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Are you for real? Yeah. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's like breach of customer's personal lives, you know. Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker, novel versus movie level, loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Um, That's already very different, you know. You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although, you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. <laughs> what? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's come. Who's, who's going to come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Same person. Oh, it's the police guy. Georgie! Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Sherry, no need to be that formal with me. <laughs> We're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. <laughs> you're as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight, so I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today. Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea, I'm out of tea. You still remember my favourite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your... Tomodachil profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Oh yeah, see, we have honey and bread, I think, there. Have we got a new one? Sweet, healthy coffee. Oh, so is it just like normal coffee? Yeah, because there's nothing else. Yeah, I think it's legit just coffee, right? He just wants an... Ex Would it be an espresso? Yeah, I just say coffee. Oh, wait, now it's opening ginger and honey. A cup of sweet, healthy coffee. Wait, if I go back to his profile... No, I, I don't get options here. Seattle Police. I actually don't know what else. Oh, wait, Toma Chill. Yeah, no, Joe, you were just on that, you dumbass. Uh, maybe it is just coffee, 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 though, right? I'm. Um because, like, bro, would they really add honey? Nah, no, they'd tell me, right? They would tell me if it wasn't just coffee. No, but... Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee. That's ginger. It's 
See, we can do a bunch of things, and I'm kind of scared that, like... I mean, screw it, fuck, fuck it, whatever. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, should I? Like, maybe he just is talking about just coffee. But he, like, he specifically says sweet dough, which is why I'm thinking that maybe he actually wants a, fuck it. Here you go, do you want sweet coffee? Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with service like you gave the old pop here, please. Why are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. Espresso was coffee, coffee, milk, wasn't it? No, espresso is coffee, 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 Joe. Surreal's short story is a DVD thing. I'd like to aspire to be someone like Tang or Tang. I saw a cat girl there. Born and raised in Seattle, a lactose intolerant cop. So it looks like they're adding bits to them the more I give them coffee, I guess. A starless night sky for the green haired fairy. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. So how's everything going with the paper, Miss Freya? As usual. Awful. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A, re a, a deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously. Care to share the details properly? You tell him. She's secretly using her work hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of fate going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least not yet. Her life will be pretty hard at if she messes this thing up though. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Sherry said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet, but my novel is going to be published by her parent company anyway. So technically I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? But technically I might have to arrest you. Hey, you do that all the time too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. You make me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that you... Hey... That you like to do other things during working hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What will it be about? The coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. You're letting her do that? There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near their post. <laughs> I'll definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Is that a compliment or are you making fun of me? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Sherry is probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. <laughs> Come on, it's not like that I'll be using real names. And I'll dramatize most things I've heard of, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll, eh, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. 
And by the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from people around here, right? By the way, some of the shit she's saying, by the way, about dramatizing things and taking things that she's heard and gonna make it into the story, that's kind of what I do as well when I've been writing, like, Sherry Albert's story. Like, there's hints of a reality in Sherry Albert's story, like, from my day-to-day -day life, in a sense, in a weird way. My kind of thought processes and all that sort of shit. But, like, it's, it's kind of, like, a bit more dramatized and it's more, um... I don't know, it's like blended in as if it's like a part of this world rather than my one. I don't know, I just thought I'd mention that. Because especially when I was rewriting, or not rewriting, but revising over uh, chapter 3 of uh, the first volume. I was reading a part, I was like, oh yeah, that's similar to thing. That's cool. But that's all I'll say, I won't mention too much more. No. Come on. No. No, no, no. You helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me another interesting tip. I helped you more than once, actually. What, really? Now it's my turn to say, come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him? Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you, you used his story for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become a, more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is, but she has bright green hair. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's wrong? What's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Ugh. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Uh, because I spent a lot of time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures. Families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fiction from a uh, fo fictional form countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they just regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her co-workers or clients, helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. Ah, oh, that's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Huh, <laughs> good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on, and go do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then, see you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. Someone else swinging in, or... Nope, we're focusing on you now, Freya. I think I need to take go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Oh, you're just the best, Sherry. You're welcome. Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on. I don't have... Wait, I don't have water left. Never mind, I had a drop of water left. Hmm, that should do for the experiment. Ah, someone is coming. Oh, hello, fellas. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Hi, Sherry. Can we see her? Sure thing, sir. 
Um, this is the place you recommend. Re yeah, recommended. You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in LA, but Gala, it's fine. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yeah. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger. Coffee and ginger. Is there a specific recipe you want? I don't think so. Coffee and ginger for yourself. Your order is ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be your liking or not. To be... You know what I mean. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. I, ju I just give him something different on purpose. There's Gala. Haven't got your man there yet. To be fair, he's not on my friends list, so... Makes sense. Jahe to Brook. Ginger presides over the ground coffee at the bottom of the cup, originally from Indonesia. Interesting. Coffee, coffee, and ginger. Watch him just, like, not like it at all. Serve. Here's your order. Hmm. Good choice. Anyway, how's uh, the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this co uh, coffee shop. I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, mister. Hyde. My name is Hyde. From what I gathered, you're from LA, right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other for a long time, I assume. You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe? Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in... 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, you were talking about the 1860s? <laughs> <laughs> no, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. That was the place, wasn't it, when we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar, they moved. Bankrupt. Ah, such a pity. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we're happy the bar closed down. What's with the smile, if you don't mind? Or you're happy if the bar closed down? What's with the smile? <laughs> Nothing. I was just wondering, will history repeat itself? I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You've got something special here. Oh wait, is he suggesting that like, they fuck off now, come back in another 20 years time and we're something else, like not a coffee shop or a bar? It won't close down anytime soon. And thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kinda. With the news about the that newfound virus going viral, the hospital has been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. But most people who come in are just... I don't want to use this word. But they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital? What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position. But I declined. I prefer doing this. Huh. <laughs> Teach their own. Anyway, I was wondering... Do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order to that blood marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlast? Uh-huh. Bloodlast get their supply from the hospital. They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals in the Ministry of Health can do that. 
They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Not really, I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah? How's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Excuse me for asking, by going vegan do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood, synthetic blood. Synthetic? It'd be too complicated to explain, but basically some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns, does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good? If mixed with other ingredients? Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? It might attract new customers. And turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking bl raw blood. Although some do try experimenting with other things. Other things? Mostly booze. But I know some mix it with not so legal substances. <laughs> you know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fur? Your monthly fury? Found a less painful method to restrain yourself. Not yet. But I do know that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yeah, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the, the, the remedy. Why don't you use the Fury sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, that sedi uh, sedative is too general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your Kami method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to... Kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their fury. What kind of kinky? Like BDSM. That only happens in porn. <laughs> Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know. Hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex is a, as a calming method is pretty common, but normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the Fury. Exactly. So continuing with your story, how far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know is it involves ginger, and something, and probably something lightly caffeinated, like tea, maybe. You better write that down. You don't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today, but the next time you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. I'm sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right, thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit the coffee shop again before I go back. So I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. They were nice. No problems. But I feel, yeah, there's gonna be more. Hey, are you done with your writing for tonight? I'm kinda. Those two guys. Kinda reminds me of this video I saw online. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video do you think I was talking about? You know. Oh, never mind. Sherry, mind of the gutter, come on. You. I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. Anyway, it was pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need to get some sleep. Yeah, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't you worry. I will be here tomorrow. Night, night. Be careful on your way back. See, the weird thing about the game, right? It's more story-driven than 
Breezer thing. Oh, bitter heart. Shadows that will help you try to hide. Interesting. I don't think we've seen that drink yet. I don't know if I should keep going or if I should actually stop and play something else because I did call this like a quick fire game stream because I wanted to try and play multiple games. Ah, you know what? Right, let's see. What do we got here first? Despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Vlogging is now part of curriculum at some private high schools. No, please. I would fucking hate that. Don't bring me back to the days of vlogging, bro. Recently, I started re-downloading videos again, and like, I'm on- I'm going through like all the vlog- well, basically 2018 was a vlogging phase, and it's like, bro, how did I think this was a good idea to upload? I- I- why didn't I just like- I hate myself in the past for not thinking, like, more about it. It's like, I just kind of vlogged, and that was it, just to keep up that I had a channel. Like, could I have not- actually made something more interesting like at least now i play games and i do try to be as interesting as i can but like back then i didn't fucking try i just talked about basically daily life and just went from there like i didn't even have something to talk about like that was you know gonna be like sherry albert story or something like that it was just vlogs about life and that's really it stop workplace racial profiling the orkish workers union demands Right, save. Right. I guess we'll save that there. Honestly, not too bad. Honestly, just because like there's not much to do in the game other than make a few copies and then listen to their stories. I might actually play more of that just because it's pretty chill, you know? Just pretty chill game to um play and shit. Just let me see this for a minute. Okay. And then Endless, I assume, is just the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, so there's Free Brew and Challenge Mode. So I, I, it must be the thing where it's just like, you're just constantly making coffees for people as they come in and out. I doubt they're going to have it where it's like, oh, everybody's going to tell a story. Because like that would be too much. Like Extras. Gallery, Comic, Achievements, and Back. Okay, how do I quit out of the game? What have they even thought of that? They haven't thought about that. I might have to just F4. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just. Oh no, I can just exit here. Right. Uh, that was game numero Hain. I think I tried Unravel two ages ago, but I just didn't get into it. So I'm gonna try it again here. And plus, like, I played the original Unravel and I actually liked it like a lot. So I'm gonna try again. Oh, but if EA asks me to sign in, please don't. No, EA, don't do this. Why do you have to be separate platform for? Oh, wait. Oh, what's happening? Where'd it go? EA? Yeah, okay. So we're going to open Unravel. I might try Hollow Knight as well. Because I heard good things about that before. And there's the only two other games then that I haven't played yet. Oh, yeah. And by the way, The Sims 4 just went randomly free today to play. I don't know why. It just is. I might download it through Game Pass though, because it gives you an expansion, but I don't think I'll be playing it on stream. Um, yeah, there's Sims 4, The Elder Scrolls, and Star Wars Squadrons, which if I'm playing Star Wars Squadrons, I'm going to have the Mew. Oh shit, can I not? There we go, that's better. Right. Uh, where's my mouse? There it is. Mm, actually, they didn't bring up the thing menu yet. Hold on. It's just, I gotta do this first. So, Unravel 2. And this came out in 2018. So, it's probably safe to say they're not gonna make an Unravel 3. Save slot 1. Start anew. Chapter 1, The Foreign Shore. In which we lose everything, but start anew. Oh, never mind. It's starting. Pretty loud as well. I'm ready to switch screen just in case it shows thing. Bro, this fucking game just looks so good, doesn't it? Oh, poor little Yarny got separated from like their initial ball of string. Because as far as I'm aware, in the original game, that was the thing that like 
tethered you half the time. But now I think it's more of like you get connected with another Yarny. He's just like, bro, wait, I'm free. I can go. But yeah, unfortunately, I won't be replaying the first game just because of streaming. I'll just, like, continue, like, with the game as it is here. And I know, like, two players can play this, but I think I'm just going to play it myself, honestly. I'm not arse doing, duoing up for it. Now, what are the chances? Like, same length of rope as well. Now they're stuck with each other. And now we're in the game. Right. Uh, no, never mind. We're not in the game. I thought we were for a minute. Oh. I am in the game. Oh, that's weird. Oh, shit. No, <laughs> wrong one. Is it this one? It's this one. Oh, that's so weird. And why is it only the right side that... Or, sorry, W-A-S-D. Why is it only D that does that? Switch between characters by pressing Enter. Do I have... Stand close to each... Close to the other character to hold Enter to carry them. Oh, that's cool. Some objects can be pushed. Oh, I'm not even car- Oh, I just realized I merged with them. They're a part of me now. Enter the drop character you are carrying. Oh, this might be annoying. I thought they'd follow me at the very least, but it doesn't look like it. Wait, can I not- Wait, how, how do I get up here? I'm such a boomer. When you switch away from a character, they will- Carry on hold. Oh. The buttons are a bit weird. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I like the buttons. Oh, shit. Stand close to another character to hold enter to carry them. There you go. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah, Joe, <laughs> jump, jump over it, like. Oh, there's more. You can change the way your characters look in the menu. Oh, yeah, you can. I forgot you could do that. Nah, I think I prefer giving them this separate thing. I think because it's Halloween. Can we do like orange and thing? Orange and black. Oh, we can't. We can do grey. Yeah, we'll do grey. Gameplay settings. Cool. Achievement earned. You unlock new threads. Lovely. Oh, moving on to the next section. This game is like hyper realistic for its time. Hold space to jump higher and further. Oh, so I need to go from here and then do that, yeah. You can change direction in the air. Oh shit. Straight in the water. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Ooh. <sighs> Oh, maybe not up here, Joe. Up here first. There you go. Press 2 to say hi. Oh, wants to just sit down. Basically emoting. So if we kill a boss, I can just emote on them. Or defeat a boss, shall I say. Oh. 
What? Yeah, the perspective kind of thing is weird. Oh. Wait. There we go. Thank God we can do the wall shit. It's probably arguably easier to do on PC as well. Maybe. Potentially. I don't know. No. Wait. I wanted to... Wait. How do I... Am I even meant to be down here? Can I just go this way? Oh, it fucking punishes me by making me want to go all the way back up. It's just like, motherfucker, learn this. You better learn this this time. Oh, is that bird going to get me? There you go. Back down. Right. There we go. That's it. There we go. We got it. We're blared and got it. D to use a lasso. Oh, okay. I get it. And it'll mark the area for me as well. How kind of him. Oh shit. Bro, the bo- Okay, the button's kind of weird for this. So I have to do this, this, and then- Oh god. Wait. Oh, wait. Goated. Press 1 to scroll through the hints. Oh wait. They're very generous with you, with the way you can just swing and shit. Because they give you, like, a big boost. Oh, shit, wait. Up. What? Okay, wait. Joe, this wasn't the way. This is the way. This is the way. Come on. Down we go. Ow. And what even is this light thing we're following? Oh, God. Uh, okay, guess we're going down this way. And the light even followed me down. How kind. If you find a section difficult to get help, health features can be turned on and off in the gameplay menu. I mean, that was a cool section to tell me that, but like maybe a harder section would have been nice for that. That's so the pull out thing. Wait, really? You want me to hop on this yoke as well? Oh, pff, I wasn't even meant to swing on it. I was just meant to pull. Yeah. What? Oh. You can switch. You can switch whilst using the lasso. Hold D when you switch back if you want to keep hanging. Oh, this is so... Okay, I can let thing through. I was just thinking there. I was like, when are they going to let me like play as the other character again? Or give me a reason to. Okay, if we can just stay there. Press enter. Right, come back to me. I wish I could just pull you back. But I guess we'll do this instead. Oh, wait. There we go. At first he hangs onto your back, but then like they just merge. They become one. You can jump through thin objects. Then again, the definition of thin objects is a bit like wonky when you think about that. Because like what if it's hold down in space to yeah, to do that. It's basically reteaching me a lot of the shit from the first game, which I kind of need because it's been years since I played it. Climb arrow plants. And we can just go down here. No! 
Oh, so oh, I get, oh, this was just for oh, okay, I get it. Oh, pff, Joe, it's D. Something you don't really give that often. No, you're meant to go up, dumbass. Why are you going that way? Joe, hold on. You're not swinging to the other side. There we go, that's it. At least you're pretty fast when you climb. Oh, can move something. Okay, but why do we need to do this? Oh, I get it, okay. Wait, can I not? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Right, and then I need to, I guess, bring you up here as well, because you're not going to come up here yourself. Tap A to undo the knot. Wow, oh, that, that was cute. They were just hugging each other randomly. Do it again. Aw. I'm not going to do it now. Because they know I'm looking. F for hints. No thanks. I'm good. Okay, maybe they do want me to, to get hints, but shush. Fine, I guess I'll use it. Press 1 to scroll through the hints. These are the hints for each section. Each hint will have more information than the last. You can scroll back through the hints or tap F to close the browser. You can turn assist on and off in the gameplay menu. I'm going to try and do it without hints if possible. Oh, shit. I, well, of course I didn't write this thing down. You can push over bridges. Oh, I get what it's... Okay, so you want me to do this first. Pop up here. Pop up here. And then control again. Can we swap... You can push this along. Wait, did I not? Oh, I didn't finish it. Did I? Wait, what? I'm so confused. I, I thought I did the bridge thing. Wait. Oh, I didn't even fucking connect it, did I? Hold on. Wait. Do that. Okay, wait. I need to go all the way over here first. There we go, now it works. And now you can, well, first of all, push it back and then go that way. It's kind of awkward. It's like you have to do it this way and then do this way. That's a bit late for me to be doing puzzles like. Right, uh... Oh, but wait, Joe, you actually need to do thing. Wait, can I... I can lasso, but can I... I can, and then I can do this. Wait. Wait, I thought I tied but one... Wait, what? I only tied one side. What? There we go. Oh, but I need to fucking get back up. Oh, there we go. That's it. Right, and then you can... Why did you have to let go? You could have just stayed up here. Can you guys merge? Yeah, okay, you guys can't... They can't merge whilst I do this. So I need you up here. Oh, fuck. Okay, I just get rid of the whole thing, I guess. Please don't be detrimental. Oh, yeah, wait, Joe, how are you meant to get back up here? Wait, hold on, you hold on for a minute. No, 
I don't want hints. I want the solution to this problem solved. All right, go to the other guy. Come back down. Go up here. Tie that. Get to the top. Swap. Uh, jump. D. Stand. Jump. Right. Now we sever everything. Merge back together. And we continue on our merry way. See? Not that hard. Ow. Well. Oh. The yarn between characters runs out if they're too far apart. Hold S uh, lets you climb it. Oh, do I need a switch card? Oh, I just let them down. At least it looks like I don't have fall damage, because why would I as a, like, a figure of yarn? Or a plushie of yarn? Could pro Wait, actually, no, 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 hold on. We're not, we, don't, we don't need to go that way. I'm going to go this way. Okay, never mind, it won't let me. <laughs> I guess that's way, that way is for when I fail to do something. They're going to punish me. Hold down with S and swing with the other character. Oh, okay, so I need to do this. Oh, I actually did it. Can't believe that. Now we're, like, using our heads. No, wait, merge. There we go. In the menu, you can choose whether one or both players need to hold S to grab thing. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't know why I jumped thinking I could do that. Like, look at them. They're sad now. They're like, bro, we have to do all that all over again. Because of this dumbass player not knowing how things work. Not even listening to how the game functions like. Right, okay. Separate. Thank God you... Oh my God. I'm on top of the world, eh? I'm on top of the world, eh? Okay, this is a bit much. I'm gonna just like fix myself here a minute. I've been waiting to smile. Wait! The hope that improvise What? No! Eh. How do I stay up there? Is there can I stay up here? No, I can only stay Oh shit! Ah fuck! Up we go. Okay, now why can I... Okay, you can do that. That's cool. But now I need to... Oh yeah, shit, how? Oh, God, okay, wait. I think I fucked it. Hold on, wait. You climb up a bit. Just to give you... No, fuck. I'm running us a bit thin here. I want you to stop up here. Legit, just right here. Then I want you... Because I think it's possible. Yeah, if I just climb up a bit more... Okay, wait, a bit too much. Wait. Okay, climb up a bit. Come on, Joe, don't be lazy. Please do not say you're lazy. Hack day, no Joe, no crazy. There you go, that's it. And now I just simply like follow this back. Like I don't even need to do any big swings or anything, I just need to follow it up like. There we go. See, nice and lovely. Oh wait, merge. There you go. Okay. Whoa. What? Thanks game, but I already figured it out. I'm too much of a gamer for this game, honestly. Right. Actually, you know what I will do before we continue? Before I forget. Um. 
Oh my god. Joe, what's the name of the game? Unravel, that's it. There we go. Makes more sense. Get my face off the just chatting, because we're not in coffee talk anymore. Da -da -da. Climb down the yarn to adjust your length. Thing. Bloop. Oh, um, I kind of, I kind of wait. Um, wait, which but bro? I already forgot the buttons. Wait, Joe, what's the button? It's S, isn't it? There you go. You need to climb before you get over. Ow, see, told you. You can swim through water using left and right. Okay, cool. Thank God. Ah, oh, I see. No, wait, we can stay together. Mm, we can't stay together. Oh. Ah. I mean, make it easier for yourself, Joe. I could have swung and then gone up, but whatever. We can stay together for now. Ah, stop. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, just stay here. What are we doing here? Okay, something with that. Cool. Ah. Wait, shit. Wrong one. Wait. Keep forgetting which button's which. Oh, can you not fucking out climb? I'm pressing the wrong one. That's why. Ow. Huh. I'm trying to think. What else can I do? Okay, maybe I will use the hints here. What was the hint button again? I legit can't remember. There's something wrong with the yarn. It's 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 kind of bugging out. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, bro, I could have been stuck there for fucking ages. Honestly, knowing me. No, sorry, just merge. No, fuck! I'm so far down. Want to scroll through hints? No, I'm good. Game, I know what to do now. I'm just... I'm being a doofus, that's all. Just being a little silly billy. That's all I'm being. Okay, there we go. That's it. Right. Now I just need to get up there. You know, actually, just to be safe. We'll separate it so I can save myself. Huh? I see, I could just fucking do it with thing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so wait what why is it oh shit Boop. honestly this just makes it easier <laughs> just get up this way All right oh thank you mysterious life for getting us out of that I do remember, I think, like, back when I first played Unravel, like, I actually did struggle quite a bit with the puzzles. Oh, we're kind of back to the surface now. We actually see normal shit again. Oh. Ah. Actually, how about I do this instead? Come on. Merge. There you go. Definitely not pressing the wrong buttons at all. Oh, another one. Loading Hope, the lighthouse, in which we choose our path. Technically, that would be a place I should stop. 
if I'm being real. Hmm. I don't know. I'll just say I'm actually kind of liking Unravel 2. I'm not going to lie. You know what, though? This is the whole point, though, of the stream. is to play the games I haven't been playing and see what they're like. And honestly, so far, Unravel 2, I definitely want to play a bit more of. Oh, yeah, that's why they called it Hub, because it's like... In the other thing as well, we had a hub, like, uh, place. Then we unlock, like, the house slowly over time. But in this one is a lighthouse instead. Ugh. And even this hub by itself is, like, its own kind of, like, little thing that you gotta discover how to open. Chapter 2, Hideaway. Right, I think... Yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. Really good, honestly. I don't know... I, did I play it before? I feel like I have played it before. And I just said to myself, nah, not really bothered. But now that I'm playing it back... I don't mind, honestly. Right, quick game. Quit the desktop. Hopefully that did save there. And plus, we gotta keep playing the game whilst it's in the Halloween colors, you know? I love the first thing on the EA game store is just like, The Sims 4, free to play. I wonder what made them, like, want to go make it go free to play. To be fair, though, honestly, the game has been out, well, it's only been out two years, and it's surprising that it's gone free to play, but honestly, with the amount of DLC that game has, like, I, I think it has quite a bit of DLC. That, like, it would make sense for them to finally make it free to play and see how many more people they could lure in and then be like, yeah, you know what? We'll let them just, like, uh, do thing, thing, and thing. Okay, yeah, you can close down now. Um, and then, uh, yeah, let's try Hollow Knight. I definitely needed a stream like this just to be, like, on the move, constantly trying new games, Hollow Knight. What I read about Hollow Knight, it's like basically Dark Souls, but scroll. Oh shit, it's not, it's not coming up on thing. Huh. That's weird. Just give me a minute. Hello. K N I G H T. Oh, there it is. Uh, just when I opened the song, now it's actually like there. Right. But fucking hell is it loud? I know I complain about the other games being loud, but this is mad loud. Bro, is there more options than just the DLC? There you go. I must have clicked the wrong thing. That's better. Right, now I can hear myself. And as far as I'm aware, yeah, extras, there's like... There's different packs. And this is Void Heart, and there's like different backgrounds. So you have Classic. You have Hidden Dreams. The Grim Trope. Lifeblood, Godmaster, and then Void Heart again. Free content pack three. So this is all content packs. That was 2018. That's 2017. Man, when was this game created? I guess I don't see it anywhere. Right. Let's start a new game. It's just slider. Seems fine. Uh, brightness. Guys, can you see everything? I mean, honestly, just leave it where it was. It's fine. I thought they were going to do the kind of thing where it's like, ooh, it's already dark, but you can make it darker. In Wilds Beyond, they speak your name with revengeance and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet, to, uh, yet you the challenge met. 
Under Palace's watch, you taught we chased. Base instincts we were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. As far as I'm aware as well, there's meant to be a second game of Hollow Knight, because when I was typing it there into Twitch, two of them came up. Actually, unless that's one of the DLCs. I looked at a little guy. Let me move my head briefly, <laughs> just so you can see him. Don't look that cute little guy, gonna slaughter everything in sight. Man, we're playing all the 2D games during this train. Whoa. He's made his entrance. Five lives. No jump. Can I attack? Can I do anything? I can't do anything yet. Okay. Never mind, I might have to... A game by Team Cherry. Why is it X? I, no, I don't... Well, actually, if you... If I don't need the other buttons, it's not too bad. Wait, how do I get out? Uh, oh, it said the jump. Man, honestly, playing this has just reminded me how much I will dread if I ever play uh, Jump King in the future. <sighs> Higher beings, these words are for you alone. You shall strength... Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats in of which others can only dream of. Collect souls by uh, striking enemies. Once enough souls collected, hold A to focus souls and heal. Okay. I mean, I could go kill this guy down here if you need. Why everything got, got so dark? Oh, it's because I'm away from the flies. Wait, can I kill them? Nah. Of course my instincts are, can I kill it? The platform? I think they are, aren't they? No, they're just like, it's just an effect, yeah. The game's very, like, artistic. I like the style of it. Ow! Bruh, are you fucking kidding? Hold A to focus. W oh, A is this one. Oh, okay. So I can do it anywhere. I just doesn't have to be in a mirror, right? The mirror was just telling me of the info. Right? Yeah, so it's it only... Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ooh. Spiky bottom. Oh, shit. I thought I actually got hit there for a minute. Come on, give me, give me it without falling. Oh, shit. Okay. It, it doesn't matter if I fall. As long as I don't, like, get hit by them. But then again, you should imagine that, right? Because, like, we started off by dropping down, like, Iron Man. 
Oh wait, there's a little thing here. Mm, I don't trust it. Kill everything, why don't you? Even the poor boba tea that did nothing to you. So far, very simplistic, and I like it. Oh, that gave me extra lives. Cool. Can't really complain about that, honestly. Oh, shit. Help. Oh, shit. I need to keep moving. Wait, there was a pathway below, wasn't it? Yeah, there is. Wait, there's a pathway down here. But I can't... Yeah, there's no way I'll make that jump, I don't think. Oh, wait, can I make the jump? Nah. I'm good. I don't need to risk my lives for something trivial. go back down that way if I really want to. Higher beings, these words are for you. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom. Damn. I am here. It's a constant swinging. Can't trust anything down here. Am I slowing down? Dirt Mouth, the fading town. Ho, traveler. Ho there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quite quiet, you say. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed da uh, down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. It used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you seek your dreams down there too. Well, watch out, it's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. I feel like I can hit him, but I don't want to. Oh, is that? Oh, that's save. Oh, I got rid of my fucking extra lives, bro. That's bullshit. Why, where's my extra lives going? Like, come on. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Okay. I want to go down there, but I also want to explore. A stone door with a simple lock. Oh, okay. So it wants me to go down, find a key, bring it back, open the door. Forgotten crossroads. Oh, I see. They're like those Koopas, like these enemies. Or turtle. Yeah, no, Koopas, aren't they? That fucking. could stick to the walls and shit. Come on, come back. Never mind, it's not coming back. Oh shit. Uh. Okay, where am I going and who am I doing? Ow, what, why did I land on it?
Oh wait, wait, shit. It's A, isn't it, to do the thing? Hmm. Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? Don't mind me. I have a fondness up for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Yeah, sure, actually, that might become that might actually be handy. Acquired map. Hold tab. A map can be a useful thing, but it, it alone won't show you where you are. If you've got... If you've not... If you have... If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass for my wife. She's just now opening a new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps uh, from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. Okay, I can't hit him, thank god. It doesn't always have to be kill, kill, kill. I'm just letting the game take me to where it's convenient, honestly. Hopefully, if it's still there. Oh shit, it's closed. Oh, ow! Of course he's shooting. Oh sh I didn't even know I could do that. Yeah, good job, Joe. Got him. Oh, I can't go through. Oh, there's more! Of course there's more. Thank God I'm shit at the game. What? If I was not shit at the game, I'd be hit more. There you go. I'm gonna get lost in all this. Holy shit. Oh, is a hundred the max? Wait. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I thought a hundred was the max there for a minute. Because it looked like it was just staying on a hundred. Oh, that's it. Wait, can I not get up here? Nah. I can go this way, though. Oh, of course there's more. I don't know if I can... Can I deflect a shot? Okay, maybe not, Joe. I wouldn't bother. Vagina cave. Yo. I feel bad for saying that. Oh, it actually looks like a nice place. Oh, it's a save point. Lovely. Ow! I have barely any time to react to that. Oh 
Oh shit. I didn't even know I was running into an enemy down there. Oh shit, bro. This fella did not stop. He was like willing to keep charging me until I like, like died. Oh, can I, I'm just... Am I killing him? No, I think he was on something, Joe. Don't worry about it. He's good. I can't get up here. Okay. Aw, oh, half the coins fell in the oak. That's a big bro memento, honestly. I'm gonna get hit by this joke, I guarantee it, like. Ah, oh, my eye! It's like soap went into it or something. Why is it so stingy? Okay, wait, get ready to get out. Bro, what the fuck happened to my eye? Oh, I don't even know what happened there. Okay, right. I think I'm good. That was weird. Uh, no! Dumbass, dumbass. D jump! Bro. I hate myself so much. And I only had enough juice for one, like, life as well. God, I had just enough. That up there is impossible. Well, I can't even make it up there anyway. Okay, I guess I'm going back this way. Psych, we're going this way. What sucked me up there? Oh shit. <laughs> These poor creatures doing nothing wrong and I'm just coming here just like slicing them all up like. Truth goes unspoken, I've even forgotten my name. I don't know the reason or what is this even. I swear I just heard. Meow. Oh. Yeah, fucking fall down, why don't you? Okay, I'm not imagining that, I'm actually hearing. Is that this? I think it was. What the fuck is that? Guess I'm not going this way for a bit. Oh. Never mind, I am going this way. I am so lost right now. There's tab on it. Tab's not opening the map. There you go. It's hold tab, Joe. Dumbass. I'm just gonna explore until something happens. Ow. Also, dumbass. Well, that's a new enemy. So they, those guys just jump. Oh, they've taught me a fucking lesson. Ow, okay, I fucking didn't learn anything from the lesson. Never mind, I'm an idiot. That guy didn't have a horn on him.
I'm defeating so many things. This is lovely. But I say all oh, this is lovely, but then we get to the Dark Souls kind of boss like uh, bosses, and I'm just like, bruh. Ow. 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 So, fully charged gives me three. Gotta keep that in mind. Oh, shit. We're going down. Oh, we're looping. Same guy, isn't it? Leaving my brother and sister poor mother behind. That's why as soon as I could move, uh, I could, I moved to dirt mouth with my wife. Yeah, so kingdoms for a dose death. I'm so confused on where to go now. I mean, I could... Hmm. I don't think I went right, did I? No, I went right, I just didn't go left. Get up there. Oh, God. Ah, I, I thought I was falling through. Ow, stop it. I love the way that fucking thing sound at the end is just somebody doing a raspberry. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I guess. Ow! Note to self, do not drop an acid. Looks funky. But was all kerplunky. Oh, and is that all that's over? Oh, yeah, that's all that's over here on the left-hand side. The right-hand side, where is the, the real shit is. Okay, I could just, like, not go that way. I'll just go this way. I think, have I? Oh yeah, I've been this way. Never mind. And I've been up above and I've been this way as well. Have I? Wait, I need to go back a minute. Yeah, no, I've been up here. And it was a save point. Actually, I'll save again. Why not? The actual main character looks adorable, honestly. The way the art style is. Right, fight me. I gave you an opportunity and you missed out. Dun, 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 Oh, things back down there. <sighs> I can't. Oh, you fucking dumbass. Go with the rhythm. Are you okay, Joe? Do you need some help? You know, actually, I need more health. Oh, God. Oh, you dumbass. That's the one that lost you the most, like, health gel. Be careful. I 
been down in here, haven't I? Yeah, I've been down here. I just haven't been above, I don't think. Oh, shit. I'll find my way eventually. It won't be that hard, I hope. Bro, that's not even worth it. That's legit not worth it. No, fuck that. I'm not doing that. Oh, my nose. Oh, is there... Oh, there's nothing down here. Cool. Hopefully there's something up here, then. Oh, that's just... Uh, nah, I'd rather not. Unless I get desperate and I need the money. Okay, I went up that way last time, so let's go down. switch. A switch that I can't get to. Wait. Huh. Interesting. Huh. Interesting. It's so violent, like, bro, why are you destroying everything for, like? What did the surrounding did to you? Oh god. I was gonna say this is where he doesn't really shine, but he kind of proved me wrong there. Thank you for whatever you just did. that make a difference? Oh, I'll lead you up to the light. Oh, it's a boss. Oh, oh, oh my god. Do I need to hit it? Ow. Oh, you fucking dumbass, Joe. Ow, dumbass. Ow, dumbass. I was gonna say you need to move, but you fucked it. Ow. Oh my god, bro. No, 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 no. We can't die to the fucking first boss I face, please. Fuck! Oh my god. Can I get my health back? Bro. That fella rinsed me. Oh, of course, and the boss wouldn't be anything without minions. I'm gonna make sure I wipe them out first. Actually, you know, I'll use a bit first. And then jump up, jump up. Not wrong one. There you go, Joe. Stop jumping, bro. <laughs> Excuse me. Someone's up there, but I can't get to them. Uh, 
Okay, right. Enter. Ugh. Oro, you oaf. You wield your nail like a club. Esme, how much deeper do we have to go? Oh, what? Who are you? I see, this old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. I'm sly. Usually I live in an une uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins don't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there. I, th yeah, I can thank you properly for your good deeds. dead end. So wait, why would there be a thing that leads here then? Ah. You've cracked the code. I reference my old videos like too much to myself. Well, not really actually. That's probably the first time I've referenced an old video in a while. Oh, I didn't even realize once you come down here, you're just kind of stuck down here. I think we'll wrap it up soon. I'm just going to see if there's a save point somewhere before I wrap it up. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, wait. <laughs> just let me back up for a minute. Of course, there's a big guy here. Ugh, I hate the sound of that as well. Mad money though. That's a big one up there. I'm not arse. I just want to save point, please and thank you. A door of an open slot. Oh, cool. I guess I can't go through it yet. Oh, excuse me. You know, I'm kind of glad the game's controls are pretty simple. Sometimes you just need a simple game to play, you know? Not saying the others weren't simple, but like, yeah. I can at least say Unravel 2 is a bit weird with... Okay, wait. Go this way, Joe. Ah, you fucking dumbass. You fucking dumbass. Where's my money? Give me my money. Is there... Oh, there's two down here. I was like, wait, doesn't it usually spawn with, like, or, like, leave two in its wake? Oh, dumb. Well, cool. I don't doubt them though, in the face of great power you would kind of like want to tremble and hide. Oh, how do I... Oh, how do I do that? You know, it's, it's, it's again, it's just not worth it, Joe. What are you doing this for? Now you only have enough for one. Oh, we came all the way back up. Okay. Oh shit, he's got a shield. Ow, okay, okay, fella, fella, calm down. You're not in Dark Souls, calm down. Ow. Ow. Thank God I could kill him, man, holy shit. We're running out. Toughest enemy so far, by the way. Just like I'm, I thought I'd mention that. Okay, we're kind of going to just... Ow! 
Ow, you fucking bitch. Stop that. Bro, I'm gonna die. I don't wanna die in a video game. That's cringe. I think I've been up there. Yeah, I've been up here. Probably not been this way, even though, yeah, it's not much different. Why am I killing them? They're so, like, adorable, though. It's like... Oh. Oh, there we go. A bench to rest upon. And get regain all my lives as well. Right, okay, so that was Shovel Knight, or not Shovel Knight, fucking hell, I got that on the brain. That was, um, I was going to say Midnight as well. Okay, Hollow Knight, there we go. It was Hollow Knight we played just there. Um. Okay. I think then, out of all the other games, yeah, it's the Elder Scrolls, and I know how that starts. And I'd probably do that, like, tomorrow, give a bit more time. Hmm, okay. Quit? Yes. Okay, you know what? We're gonna try Star Wars Squadrons as well. I haven't really been into a Star Wars game for a while. But, I'm gonna do this now, so I remember. Desktop audio off, music on. Right. The only reason I did that is because it, it's basically just going to include fucking copyrighted music and I'm not arsed to, like, shovel around it. Kind of shovel around it, lol. But, um, yeah. Anyway, just give me a few minutes. I need to get some water and then I'll be back playing it. Like, at least Star Wars Squadrons and then I think I'll wrap it up for tonight. Because I've been playing, a f like, a few games now for two hours, like, so, yeah. Beer beat. Good news. It just loaded just as I came back. Oh, I turned off the lights off. There we go. Right, give me a minute to get everything set up. <laughs> Connecting. Downloading gate. What game data do you have to download? Bro, I just want to play the single player. Because I know there's a single player story I can play. And it's all based in thing. Settings, brightness, subtitles, yes please. Enable to display subtitles in game. Speech, small, large subtitle, medium. Ah, uh, we'll just, why not have large? Subtitles, background, medium, chat text size, screen settings, output, audio output, um, auto, master volume, we'll turn it down a bit. I could just realistically turn off the music uh, for the game, but I feel like that would just take away from the experience, so I won't. Accept and start. I know my friend's got like, or a friend got a Star Wars bundle once, but like, I don't think he played much of this. Unless he did in his free time, and I just didn't notice, so, yeah. Motive. Oh, that's a different game company. 
And yes, I know I haven't swapped screen yet. I'm just waiting for it to get like get to the main menu. Press any button to start. After Alderaan is destroyed, pilots of the Rebel Alliance fight for galactic freedom. Meanwhile, fearless type pilots enforce the will of the Galactic Empire. Okay, maybe I will start showing this. Uh, music, desktop audio is off, okay. And now is it going to ask me which side? I mean, you know what? We've been playing the good guy in a lot of games. Let's play the bad guy. And we've only pre-generated faces. Um, a human pilot 9. Human pilot 10. Pantorian pilot. Celtron pilot. I don't know. Um, I think it was on this guy, so we'll choose this one. Like, is that all I could choose? That is actually kind of shoddy. I thought I could do more than that. Alright, whatever. Uh, standard, recommended. This setting enables HUD elements that help you in a variety of ways, such as by clarifying your objective, uh, the locations of friends and foes, etc. This setting disables most standard HUD elements for more immersive but more challenging experience. You rely entirely on your physical onboard flight instruments for information. Sounds cool, but I think we'll go easy mode here. Story mode. For players who want to experience the story and the thrill of space combat without a significant challenge. Enemies are less dangerous, starfighter control is easier, and aiming is greatly assisted. Recommend for players with some experience in flight games, balance for a challenge and rewarding adventure. Recommend for players with lots of experience in flight games, enemies are more deadly and more agile. Master your pilot skills to survive in the most challenging difficult mode. All fighters are more fragile, including yours. Yeah, we'll just leave on pilot. Here you begin single player story. Your progress uh, will automatically be saved. Yes. Oh, where's my mouse gone? My mouse has disappeared from the universe. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Imagine if I get copywritten for like audio or just visual. Oh, it's Darth Vader, actually. He's commenting. You know what? The voice wasn't too bad for Darth Vader, but I feel like that's the only time I'm going to hear him, though, if I'm being honest. Oh, Sloan! She escaped fucking Titan in Destiny 2 and became a uh, part of the Empire. Captain Yaves.
And I wish I could play the fucking audio for this as well. At least they're subtitles, so you know what they're talking about, but yeah. Move the camera for some reason. That what was that for? A uh, hundred. I wonder is that health, huh? Oh, you know what I haven't done yet? Well, let's see, what do we have? We have a lot of options. Uh, SQ. There it is. Right. Return to the scene of the crime. T. T. Okay, that's my sensor. Oh god. Oh, I see how it is. That's so weird. It's so floaty. I think I'm... Am I gaining on this guy? Oh, the controls are a bit weird. You say it as I'm about to crash into you. <laughs> Bro, why is he flying so slow? You can even see my mouse here in the middle of the screen, kinda. It's nice that I can actually straighten myself up every so often. Oh, Darth Vader's ship just above us. Now really. Guys, that was the Fortnite glider. Wait, hyperspace? Can we go hyperspace with TIE fires? Okay, what's happening ahead here? Oh, 
Oh, I see it at the side now. If you look at the bottom, like, left of the, like, console, you can see, like, how much I'm engaging the throttle and shit. Escape menu for something. I didn't see that. Is this safe? I'm assuming it is. Because why would they be doing this if it wasn't safe, Jeff? But then again, I am a clone trooper, so I'm, like, expendable. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun, da, dun. It's just cool hearing the fucking Star Wars music, honestly. Right. T is to lock on, Joe. Remember that. Damn, this fella's going full throttle right now. I've engaged all the way and, like, I'm not even catching up to him. Unless it's the wrong guy. But I don't think it is. Hold on. Bro, what are these odd turns he's doing? Scan an unknown ship or object, face it and tap T to target, then approach it. Your scan will begin automatically when you're facing the target and within a thousand meters. How do I bring the weapon system online? Which button? Due to divert power to lasers, lasers will recharge faster and hit harder. I am doing this so bad. Q to repair your hull.
Oh god, it's so floaty. Down there. Well, this way, Joe. Set it four to rebalance power. Oh, God. Some starfighters like X-Wings have regenerating shields. You must blast through the shields before you can damage their hull. When your aiming reticle turns from white to red, your shot will hit the target. Watch how the enemy is moving and lead your t uh, target to land the perfect shot. Oh god! Oh. Bro, we're going to be crashing out here. Oh, where are you going? Oh shit, Q. Fix it all up, Joe. Okay, fuck me, okay. Wait, are we fixing? We are fixing. Right, fucking hell. This, this is some fucking game. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I like the Star Wars theme, but like, I just don't like the game itself right now. I'm just thinking, like, what I need to do. Uh, right. Bro, there's so many X-Wings still left. Holy shit. Uh, buh, buh. Ow. Slow down, Joe. Slow down. <laughs> I'm so shit. That, bro, I'm so shit. And I have to do all that again. I'm assuming. Oh, I see. So if I switch to one, I can go a lot faster. Oh my god, can you get back into my view? Oh my god. Okay, we're good. We're good. We we live. We ballin'.
Where'd he go? I have no clue where he went. Oh, there's one. I don't need no targeting system. How do you think fucking... What's his name? Luke, I think. Fired a shot into the Death Star, bro. Yo, bro said rebel scum, not low-key racist, like. Come on. Okay, Joe, you might need to start healing. Only half, bro. What's the rest of the fucking squadron doing? Am I the only one killing them? Okay, just keep spinning, Joe. Keep spinning. They can't hit you when you're spinning. Okay, to be fair, they are actually shooting them. Bro, honestly, firing at them from so far away is so much easier than anything. Uh! I saw red on my screen and I'm firing. Oh god. Oh. Damn. Fellow I didn't even care about is like. Once you've powered engines, you gain speed and agility. Well, I know that. Oh shit. Where's he going? Uh! Wait, what? We failed? We fucking failed? What? Okay. Maybe I do need to... Okay, staying on one then. Wait, it's her fault as well. She didn't fucking keep up like... I mean, he's not shooting me. He's just shooting the environment. And I can barely shoot my things for too long or else I run out of thing. Yeah, I know it's cute to repair my hole. Why are you telling me that now? Why am I going with AWOL? I'm slowing down, just in case. I probably could have kept going, but I would have died at that point. I mean, to be fair, you can see where he's coming from, though. Like, he's helping these fucking, like, refugees actually, like, 
stay safe. And we're just trying to kill them, like... Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't think the Empire was happy with that. Unless they can hit hyperspace. Echo Squadron, mid-rim. Oh, were we switching characters now? Because I kind of don't care anymore. <laughs> I kind of just want to quit out, like... Okay, hold on. Let's see how different the fucking T-Wing is. Or X-Wing, should I say. Oh, okay, we're just drifting. Wait, oh, they're staying ahead of me, okay. Oh, it's Akbar. I'm gonna be real, I don't care. I'm <laughs> just like, I legit just don't care. How do I get out of the game? Main menu. Okay. I mean, again, it mightn't be that bad, but I just, I'm not really into it. I'm not gonna lie. But like, you know, show me a fucking jet in like um, GTA. Bro, we'd be mm, so good. Right. Yeah, I know, it's running, it's minimized. Just let me open this. Quit out of that. Right, um, so unfortunately tonight we won't actually get to play Elder Scroll or Skyrim. But hopefully tomorrow we'll do that. Maybe we might even do The Sims 4 tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I thought like it'd be a good time to finally like just do a stream where I'm not just streaming the one thing and continuing it uh, continuing in her story and actually just playing everything and giving everything a chance first before I like hone in on what I want to do and what I not want to do. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this variety stream. Obviously, if you like what you see, you can follow me live for more of this shit where I just hop from game to game to game. But this is not really common. I'm probably just gonna fucking play Overwatch Two and Fortnite tomorrow morning. Uh, but other than that, if you do, you can follow me live uh, for more streams. But if you're watching this VOD on YouTube, make sure to like this VOD if you like to. Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. I will say that there is another new Sherry Arbor story uh, update video coming. The twin It's between the 20 20th and the 23rd, at the very least. That's as much as I can say. And it's going to be exclusively on the uh, Sherry Arbor story YouTube channel too. So, yeah. Again, thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, goodbye. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Guys, we've got to find the Night Flyer! Where did he even go? It took me quite a while to get into that position of power. I am gladly going to wait another while before I take my place back again. Joseph Nightflyer, you just wait your pretty little self in your room and with your teammates. Because I'll be back. I will find my way back. No matter how long it takes. Bye bye for now. <laughs>